Hey there! Today we will check out the new features in WordPress 6.3, so let's see what the newest update has to offer. <music> WordPress version 6.3 official launch date is August 8th. A month before its beta version has undergone testing to provide the best experience and performance for all users. WordPress 6.3 enhances the site editor by integrating Gutenberg versions 15.2 to 16.1 into the WordPress core. Now let's take a closer look at the new features of WordPress 6.3. The main goal of this WordPress software update is to perfect the site editor before shifting the focus to phase 3 of the Gutenberg project. Therefore, this release's improvements are mainly focused on the interface and workflow of the site editor. Two notable changes in WordPress 6.3 include renaming of reusable blocks to patterns and the introduction of synced and unsynced pattern options. In other words, this update focuses on merging reusable blocks and patterns. This change was initiated for better customizability and ease of use. Normally, creating custom patterns in WordPress is limited to three methods, using the WordPress pattern directory, a pattern management plugin, or adding pattern PHP files in the installation folder. However, none of these methods allow pattern creation by the site editor. WordPress 6.3 streamlines pattern creation, mirroring the process of creating a reusable block. You can customize a block or a group of blocks and select Create Pattern directly from the Block Toolbar menu. You'll find the Sync Toggle option in the pop-up window. This will determine whether editing the pattern will update it anywhere it is used. If you choose to make it a synced pattern, all changes you make will be site-wide and you will find it under the Sync Patterns tab on the Block Inserter panel. Unsynced patterns are the regular patterns as found in the previous WordPress versions. You can add and edit them on any page or post independently without affecting the same patterns used elsewhere. They are found under the My Patterns category on the Block Inserter panel. This site editor received a substantial makeover in WordPress 6.3. If you use the Gutenberg plugin, you may have noticed these incremental alterations since version 15.2. Otherwise, the revamped site editor offers a more efficient and user-friendly experience. The existing navigation sidebar is now expanded in WordPress 6.3 to streamline navigation between editor components. Previously, it only consisted of templates and template parts. It has several new additions to the menu. Navigation includes links on your navigation block, allowing you to easily rearrange or remove menu items. However, you can't add new links from here. Styles lets you choose and preview the style variations of your theme. There's also a more convenient way to navigate back to the style book and the global styles panel. Pages includes all the available pages on your website, including drafts. What's new in this version is that you can open and edit the page directly via the site editor, so you don't need to go to the dedicated page editor. Like the 6.2 version, templates lists all available templates and lets you select one for editing. There's also a new button to create a new template. Patterns, previously known as template parts, contain template parts alongside synced and unsynced patterns. Command Palette was introduced as the experimental command center in Gutenberg. It provides a quicker way to navigate between templates, open specific panels, or create a new post or page. You can find this feature at the top of the site editor, right where you can see the template name you're viewing. Another way to find it is using the Ctrl plus K keyboard shortcut on Windows or Command plus K on Mac. Once in the command palette, search for the panel you want to open or the task you want to work on. Click on it and it will directly take you there. WordPress 6.3 has a handy style revision panel that lets you revert global style changes. You can access this feature via the revisions button found at the global styles panel. You'll see a list of available revisions, timestamps and users who made the changes. Simply select the version you wish to revert to and click apply. I've already mentioned that you can edit pages directly via the site editor, but what if you suddenly need to edit a page template? You no longer have to use the navigation sidebar or command palette just to open a template. Just open the settings panel and you will see the edit template option at the bottom of the page tab. It will change from the page or content editing mode to template editing. 
There are also a couple of improvements to the site editor so you can work more efficiently. First, there's a new distraction-free mode. In WordPress 6.2, this feature was only available for the page and post editor when creating content. In case you're unfamiliar with it, the distraction-free mode hides all side and top panels and turns off the block toolbar so you can focus on editing only. Improvements were also made to the top toolbar feature. Instead of adding a block toolbar in an additional level at the top, it will be placed in the same single top panel. This way it doesn't take up a lot of space in WordPress 6.3 display. As with any significant update, WordPress 6.3 brings improvements to blocks, including the addition of two new blocks. The details block comprises a title at the top and a collapsible nested block section. It's handy for presenting densely packed content such as code snippets, product specifications, and spoilers. The footnotes block is useful for adding citations. You can access this block by selecting the text you wish to cite, clicking more on the block toolbar, and selecting footnote. It will automatically be added at the end of your content. In addition to these new blocks, WordPress 6.3 offers new customization options, including caption styling for the image block. You can access this feature in the Styles panel to tailor the caption text font, size, and appearance. WordPress 6.3 no longer supports PHP 5 and elevates the minimum supported version to 7. That said, the recommended PHP version remains 7.4 or greater. The WordPress core team considered this following the lack of monitored installations of PHP 5, which led to security and compatibility issues. If you're using Hostinger and still use PHP 5, you can change the PHP version via HPanel. Go to the dashboard's advanced menu, choose PHP configuration, then change it to the newest PHP version. And that's all of the WordPress 6.3 features and changes wrapped up. Leave us your thoughts about the update in the comments section below. Subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more videos about WordPress website development and troubleshooting tips. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.